Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, I am Ms. Shama Shakil from Peshawar Model School. In previous video, I have explained unit number 9, Electricity of class 5. In today's video, I am going to explain its exercises, all the short and long question answer, which you have to attempt on your neat note copies, right? So let's begin, note it down. Short question answer number 1. Name the particles which are present in the nucleus of an atom. Particles in the nucleus. Protons and neutrons are present in the nucleus of an atom. Question number 2. Where are the electrons present in an atom? You have to give your heading position of electrons. Electrons keep moving in orbit around the nucleus in an atom as we know that electrons are still moving electrons are moving right question number three what happened to the objects when they are brought close to each other having same or different charges same charges when the objects having same or like charges are brought close to each other they repel or push away from one another different charges when the objects having different charges are brought close to each other, they attract or pull towards one another. You have to attempt this question, this answer, like you have to put, put one central line, then give your heading, difference between same charges, different charges and then have you have to attempt like this. Short question number 4. Give some examples of static electricity. Examples. When we rub our comb against our hair. Number two, when we pull off our sweater. Number three, lightning during a thunderstorm. Number four, when two objects are rubbed against each other. So there are basically four short question answer. Move to the next one, long question answer. You have to start long question answer with next page. Question number one. How many types of electricity are there? Explain the difference between them with examples. Type of electricity. There are two types of electricity. Static electricity, current electricity. Then give a heading of difference between static electricity, current electricity. The electricity that gathers in one place is known as static electricity. Example, lightning during a thunderstorm. Current electricity, the electricity that moves from one place to another is known as current electricity. Example, flow of current through a circuit. Question number two, why does lightning tends to occur during storm? Answer, point number one, when clouds rub against each other, electrons move from one place to one cloud to another. Point number two. The movement of electrons heat up the air between the clouds. Point 3. When too many electrons move very fast, they make the air between the clouds so hot that it glows. Point number 4. This is a spark. Number 5. If this spark is huge, it is called lightning. Question number 3. Describe in your own words how electric current passes through a wire. You have to give heading electric current through a Y. We know that metals are good conductors of electricity due to having free electrons. Point number two, a wire is also made up of metals. Point number three, when a wire is connected to a battery or main socket, number four, the free electrons in the wire becomes energized and start moving through it. Okay, uh, students, let me clear one thing. Why I have used point-wise, uh, why I have suggest you to write point-wise answer. It will be more easier for you than writing a paragraph, right? Question number four. What is a fuse? What is its function? Fuse. A fuse is a safety measure that protects the appliances and its wiring function. A fuse contains a small wire. Number two, when too much current flows through it, it gets melt. Number three, this breaks the circuit and protects the appliances. 
सो देर आर बेसिकली शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन फोर शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर एंड फोर लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आंसर यू हैव टू अटेम्प्ट ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आंसर इन योर जर्नल साइंस नीट नोटबुक इंशाल्लाह नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन यूनिट